Hi everyone, thanks for stopping by my channel today. I have another Dollar Tree haul to share with you. I got some spring items, some Crafter Square items, and a few other goodies. So stay tuned and we're gonna get right into it. Oh my gosh, I have a lot of stuff. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm gonna show it all. So the first thing I wanted to get to was some last minute Valentine uh, little gifts that you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. Uh, if you want to put together a little gift basket or just a few items to give to your loved one. Most of the stuff was over where the cosmetics are and they were on an end caps and they were all Valentine related things. And the first thing that I picked up, the bath sponge, shaped like a heart, super cute. And then to go along with that, um, you can get this, um, it's called Crystal Waters Shower Gel, and it's a vanilla flavor, and then it has three heart-shaped bath bombs in it. So just this right here is a cute little gift. This heart-shaped bath bomb. They had this, and I think they had one that said XOXO. And then they also had some dice, um, like if you're having a date night, and you wanna let your Loved one, roll the dice to decide what you do that night or what you're gonna do for Valentine's Day. So it says compliment each other. And then this is game night, dress up, eat in bed, cook together, and slow dance. I found a, another, I guess, shower, bath wash, and heart shapes. And this is in a tangerine flavor and the packaging is really cute. If you don't want to go with the red theme or the pink theme, you can go pick something up like this. Um, also in the Valentine section was this group of uh, products called Beauty Intuition. And they had several different designs. I picked up a couple. Um, this one being a lip scrub. And it is in Caramel Brulee Frappe flavor. Really cute. The packaging is cute and it's a nice size container. Then the other one is um, this Macaroons Lip Stain. Super cute. Let me see what flavor this is. Oh, it's Macaroons, I guess. So whatever flavor that is. <laughs> this is a really nice picture frame. It's sturdy. It has glass in right here. It's You can put it on a stand. So if you wanna maybe set this around, if you're having a Valentine's dinner. And then the last thing that I thought might be cute in a little Valentine gift basket is the, some of these cosmetic bags. I picked some of these up in different patterns last time, but I really liked this one, so I thought this is really pretty. And you get two. I thought these would be cute just because of the color. These are hot and cold iPads. So those would be really cute in a gift basket. As if I didn't have enough Valentine stuff, I picked up two packs of these sequin appliques. I picked up two of those to have it to add to my craft collection. And then, of course, I had to get another pom pom kit. I really like these pom poms being all sparkly, and you get a lot of hearts and googly eyes. So, even if you didn't use this for Valentine's Day, you can certainly use it to make other craft projects throughout the year. I bought four of these baskets. They had all the new spring colors out. Um, when I went back today, they were pretty picked over. And these are really sturdy. This, this is probably one of their better baskets. I found is some new chenille in these really bright colors. Um, this one is mango and this one is flamingo. So I just love these two colors together. Picked up an organizer box. Um, I'm going to put all of my, let me call the rings for making bead dangles and stuff. I'm going to put all those in here. I picked up two of these crafters mats. Um, I use these all the time. I use them as a mouse pad, as a cutting mat surface. them on my die cut machine. I use them under my glue gun. So they're a very versatile mat. And if you have not tried these yet, I highly recommend going and getting a couple of these. So I didn't really pick up many stickers, but when I saw these hanging there, it reminded me of spring. So I went ahead and picked this pack up and they are dimensional. They're like two layers, two or three layers, depending on the flower. So I think those are really pretty. They have this mesh ribbon and it says floral garden mesh ribbon. 
and they had four different colors. You get, so you get nine feet of this. So about two in the white and then one in the, I guess, natural or beige color. One more Valentine item I totally missed. And that was this pack of stickers. They're actually shakers. They have little tiny hearts in each of the, each of the sticker. Do you see those, those silver hearts and they're shakers. My last Dollar Tree haul, I hauled some pins that were eco-friendly and I found a few more. And this is the Kind brand and they're fine line markers. The barrel is made out of wheat straw. So it's made out of eco-friendly material. And then the other one I found in the same section was these ink ballpoint eco-friendly pens. And the barrel of this is made out of recycled material. Dollar Tree's definitely trying to be a little more eco-friendly. I had showed last time that I found these binder clips um, with Jot, a corner office by Jot. And I found a, a different design of binder clips that weren't there last time. So I did pick up two of those. These are my favorite pens. I use them every day for work. These are Jot Writing Ballpoint Pens, 0.7 millimeter. I found a new pen by Ink called Soft Touch. You get two, and these are uh, 0.5 millimeter, so they're very fine. So I can't wait to try those. They came in uh, purple and pink. I picked up three of these Zebra Sarasa fine line pens. Okay, we're gonna move into spring. I was very excited to go into Dollar Tree today and I found a whole display of spring items. Before I jump right into those, I did get one Easter. I got a sign to hang on my front door. Um, I just thought it was very springy and it was so cute. The bunny has a little cotton tail on it and it's pretty durable. So I think it'll hold up on my front door um, for a little while for Easter. Well, let's do the spring items first since they're on top. Well, they're from Spring Fling and it's this pom-pom garland and these really cute, bright colors for spring. So I picked up two of those. They're five feet long. So two of them will definitely decorate most areas. I found this flower garden, floral garland rather, sorry. I'm gonna take it out of the pack because there's more than one type of flower in here. In blue, there we go. Purple, pink, and blue. And then there's green leaves in between and yellow. These are really cute. So I have two of these. Um, I keep these around. I had, they had a different design last year and I had some of those and my sister had surgery. So I took those to the hospital and we hung them up in a room just to add a little cheeriness. So, you know, there's a lot of things you can do with these garlands. You don't have to really have a plan for them if you want to just cheery up a space. The next thing I got was these plastic plates in these cute colors. Let's open, open one of these packs. Looks like you get six plates, They're pretty durable. So well, the next items are in the garden section that I found. And the first thing is these craft wood animal picks. They had these in snails, a hedgehog, I think it was, and then these birds. So you get uh, four in a pack. They had these cute wood picks. They had these two flowers and they had a leaf pattern and a snail, but I just picked these two. And then the last thing was also a crafty item in the garden section. And that's this little flower pot to paint. And it even comes with three colors and a paintbrush. All right. So the next things I purchased was a few just random items. I found these bandanas and they are for um, breast cancer awareness. So you get two, two different styles of bandanas. Um, I just thought they were really pretty. Wanted to support, you know, uh, the cause. And it says that a portion of 
The proceeds from the sale of this product will go to support breast cancer research. And then also in the cosmetic or the hair section, I found this uh, scrunchy um, banana clip. I guess that's what you call it. A claw clip for your hair. So yeah, I got a whole bunch of tissue paper, baggies, that kind of thing. So I'll quickly show you some of the things that I got. I found these in the party section. Um, I love them because they're iridescent. I do send out a lot of packages because I have a little Etsy shop. So I found this beautiful springy tissue paper pack. So I got two of those. And then I also got this one that has just solid spring colors in it. I purchased one of these tablecloths because I thought I could use it to wrap a package. <laughs> Somebody uses wrapping paper. I picked up these bags. You get 10 treat bags and I'm going to make little mini albums. Some other things that I just like to have around are a happy birthday banner. It's got gold on the top and it's pretty big. I like to have that just in my stash. I also picked this banner up with the felt triangles and another one I picked up was this tissue garland. I just love the colors. They make me happy. I also found this four pack of paper, filler paper. So you can use it as tissue or wrapping paper. I found these iridescent, I'm into iridescent. I found these iridescent gift sacks. I just love the color. Look at the light. I love those. The last item I want to share, I've been on the hunt for these for several, several months. And that is this parchment paper. Sorry, upside down. Durable parchment paper pop-up sheets. You get 25 sheets to a pack. I have a little sheet pan and I pop one of these on there and I don't have to wash the pan when I'm done. The grease doesn't go through this. You can use these on your table if you're gonna paint something. It'll hold the paint, it won't go through this. You get 25 to a pack, so I bought four of them. I believe that is it. Aside from a bar of soap and this bag of penny sticks, honey wheat braided pretzel rods, that is all, and these are delicious too. <laughs> so that about wraps up my Dollar Tree haul this week. Thank you so much for watching. As part of me collecting all of these items, <laughs> I can't possibly use them all myself, so I do um, what I end up doing a couple times a year is putting together some gift baskets. Usually it's for a fundraiser for a, a church group or um, a local fundraiser for a nonprofit organization. And I'll put together some gift baskets for silent auctions and give them to, to them. I've done that the last couple years and makes me feel a little bit better about going and buying random things at the Dollar Tree that I really don't need. I really enjoy the process of seeing what they have new, showing people what they have. Then I donate a lot of it at the end. Some of it I do hang on to for my own use, but a lot of it I do end up um, donating. Yeah, doing Dollar Tree hauls can be a lot of money, <laughs> but I really do enjoy the process and enjoy sharing. Thank you for again for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.